that are more frequently taken <coughs> from minority ethnic backgrounds are I just woke up, it's Andrew Marshall. Risks of infection. So for instance, cleaners, nurses, doctors. Absolutely. Um, and uh, oh, in fact, all staff in, in hospitals. So it's, but the thing is to... It was just whole, before uh, Graham became where he's talking about diversity. Uh, in the Commons, and Andrew Marr said there isn't a black face in the Commons. Um, <laughs> so, the, we, so I don't know. Do you, what do we need work? diversity uh, for? Have Why do we need diversity? We've done the analysis that shows that this is a very significant problem. And Kevin Badnall, Let's keep Britain how it used to be 40 years ago. Exactly that question. Why? How much of it is down to occupation, for instance? How fucking much of it is down to How much of it is down to housing? Everybody in the and government who's fucked this country up. A very balanced response. She also said that the report had gaps and hasn't gone far enough. There's a mission going on right now with this. Uh, well, if we, if it had gone George enough, Bloke in it, who's been uh, asked her to take the work forward. Supposedly embedded in the states. Uh, it's just a new agenda now. Obviously, cares very deeply about getting this agenda right. Big picture, we've had 40,000 deaths and probably a lot more than that in this country, might be 55. Have we, Andrew? The Prime Minister said that he took full responsibility. Oh, he follows fucking the, the, they could in the news, don't he? Whatever's been said. Proud of our we've had 14,000 deaths. You can't even prove it. Because oh, he's seen it on news. The news that lies to us on a daily basis. I, I'm more than Andrew Marr's purely sucking it up. Uh, and in a way, you know, 40,000, uh, the number is less important than the fact that each of these is somebody who has ha, has died with their family and who, who will be, never be the same again. And uh, we have put... Do oh, you hate looking at these people, really? Place, uh, right I detest people like this guy here. With the, the stuff what we've seen, because uh, we, we, we know now that the spending is nothing but lies. But it, working very, very hard. We know that now. Are you so many other people I'm really well. proud. Well, I'm, 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 my team, I'm very proud of the work my team have done. No um, doubt he is. Particularly, you know, starting up a testing system. The man is locked down a country for nothing. Scratch and the, getting the testing system going. Uh, making sure that we flatten the curve. Protecting flatten the, the curve. There is no the fucking curve. curve. Making sure the NHS... It's one straight line. Enormous amounts of things that I'm... But 50,000 or more dead. Well... Of course, nobody wants to see right, okay. a pandemic at all. That hack on, thanks very much. Nobody wants to see one. Months. We haven't thanks seen one. Lying bastard. You know what? Believe it or not, he's you see his fucking NHS badge on his fucking top. To the average person, you know that's you wouldn't notice it and wouldn't even bat an eyelid about it, but. Even having an, uh, that on his top, he, he's, he's pushing the bullshit just by having that NHS on his top. He's pushing the lies, isn't he? He hasn't got a McDonald's fucking badge on his top. He's not got some other business or organisation on his top. It's the NHS badge. All part of the bullshit when they've been saying NHS, NHS. Support the NHS, all part of all this. You know, people coming on, he was coming on the doorsteps clapping for the NHS. You know, I fear there's going to be probably another fucking brain dead mind control operation on the masses. Next thing, you'll be coming and doing something on your doorstep to do with this. Uh, I forgot your second name, that George guy in America who's been supposedly murdered. And the next thing you'll be uh, coming on your doorstep and doing something like that every fucking Thursday. Something, doing something on your doorstep do, to do with them. And it just would not surprise me. What's the end about the black communities now? government wants lockdown done locally but are the councils ready? The scale of this task is really huge and we as what a government... What the fuck? Local lockdowns? For making it work. So they still want to bang on about more lockdowns. And the impact here of the death of George Floyd. Floyd, that's his name, yeah. Like 
people, forgot his people name. Growing up in towns and cities across the the impact here. Why, why, why should we have an impact here? Young children frightened. You know, they're asking their questions like, is this going to happen to me, Mum? Is slavery coming back, Mum? Oh, bollocks. Oh, fuck off. Is this going to happen to me, Mum? Is slavery coming back? Why would a kid know that? She's a liar. What fucking young kid knows about slavery now on this earth? Truly. What young kid knows about slavery? Some fucking adults don't even know about it. Did you hear that then? That, that was pure lies that was. Of the oh, on Friday. Is slavery coming back, Mum? Could be increasing or close to increasing. No, that is pure lies. That is. That. Oh. God, and it's shocking beyond belief how you can see through lies on, on the TV what they push. So, so clearly now you can see pure orchestration to do with this George Floyd down. They are pushing something else. It's with, without a doubt they're pushing some absolute lies. Oh bollocks! He shares. Oh, he shares the anger and pain about Black Lives Matter. What about the anger and pain of everybody who's lost a relative and haven't been able to attend the fucking family's funeral? Because only two or three of you have only been allowed there. What about the anger and pain? You've, you've not even been allowed to go visit your fucking loved one in this lockdown. No anger and pain. He didn't show his face for that. But now he shares the anger and pain over this Black Lives Matter fucking shit of a black guy in America what doesn't even affect this fucking country. Oh, for fuck's sake, it winds me up, this shit does, honestly. And Sadiq Khan fucking raises his fucking head over this. Uh, let's talk to Saki Bharti and to, uh, to Dawn Butler for the first time. Um, Saki, to you first of all. Um, I saw an article on the internet of a, a woman who'd gone visit a 95 year old father behind a fucking glass. Uh, behind a fucking glass screen. Well, what, what happens in prison? Someone who's fucking mass murderer or something? The next phase of the lockdown, and we have a system of tracking trace <sighs> available, and of course, greater testing. I won't beam me up, Scotty, out of this fucking earth, Christ. Christ. Data. I think what we're now going to see is, as we start to move to the next phase, the ability to be able to identify localised outbreaks um, and deal with uh, local um, uh, decision makers, with public health directors, hospitals... I mean, who the fuck's this fucking dude? Metro mayors, if that's what's uh, needed, and to basically try and isolate those incidences of the outbreak and control it. So I think this is a very positive step forward. You're isolating no outbreak because there is no outbreak. There has been no outbreak. The signs are there. No fuck has been dying. No fuck has dropped fucking dead. All we're seeing is the evidence of fucking old people who were fucking dying of natural or the, the symptoms what they fucking already had. We are waiting for the statisticians to verify the numbers of how many people are being. Uh, tracked and traced, but it's been going for nearly two weeks now, and quite clearly it is ready, and that's why we were able to find a localised uh, outbreak in places like Western Supermare uh, and try and control it earlier this week. And Seems to like the word, word localised, don't you, all of a sudden? Is that, the, is that the new fucking word now? Is it localised, localised, localised? Um, uh, you know, the ability to then control those localised outbreaks. Yeah, yeah, localised again. The virus doesn't spread because we know you can the, spot uh, these words popping up, can't you, when they start uh, using them? Localised. Would Labour have eased the lockdown now, or would you have kept the restrictions in place? I mean, London is, is somewhere ahead of the rest of the country. You'll, you'll appreciate that. I think the, the most important thing is about the localised infrastructure. Localised, see what I mean? Test, test, test. And what we I need can, I can, you can see that you can fucking shred these, the, what they're doing apart. Localised, localised. Trying to ensure that private companies 
run the test and trace system. That I'm on it, straight away I'm on it. isn't currently working. Buzzword, local localised. Uh, councils were able to do that because they already have the infrastructure that was set up around shielding vulnerable people. And without that testing... That's what they've been told to say. Without that right. testing, well, nothing else really works. Right, you a lot. You've got to go on news and lie for us all. For now, Don't uh, forget, keep on saying the word, localised. Small groups allowed to mix outside. We're allowed to see our friends... Uh, now and uh, the site of MPs we're allowed to see his friends how are we exactly oh thank you very much but a slight relaxation of the rules I thought and I was a free man the government wants local communities to help to tackle regional flare-ups of coronavirus last month the there's been no flare-up Robert Jenrick expressed a strong preference that the whole country moves as one on easing lockdown but the health secretary Matt Hancock this week repeated plans for a more targeted Hancock approach. Hancock should be hanging off a piece of fucking rope. Of All of them should. The They're responsible for fucking worst hit, with murder. Five times or more those in Rutland, Dorset, North East Lincolnshire, and Cornwall. But local lockdown, listen to Vernon Coleman. Uh, Coleman. And Vernon and Coleman. And this week, the chief medical officer. A man with the true voice and says it on the nail. That, Amazing videos. So the government wants that local approach, but do communities and counties... They are local approach. When it comes to testing local, localised. Uh, the northwest of England's R rate is thought to be above 1. That's Again, what you're going to start hearing now. So someone's going down to do with localised. Asking people to stay away isn't the normal message from seaside times in the northwest. But these aren't normal times. We thought we'd be you're fucking so telling me they're not normal times. I stood here and I looked around and I thought, is this pandemic happening? Big groups of people all merging together. Easing the lockdown has led to worries in places like Blackpool, where one resident started a petition calling on the council to close the beaches. Fucking me. Oh my fucking lord, can you believe this? Started a petition. Well, he's a fucking retard. He wants a bullet in the brain, that prick. But the council's hands are tied. They can't impose local lockdowns, even if they wanted to. As we move into this uh, this release, it's getting more and more difficult to. Why would you want lockdown a beach based on what you've witnessed? Three months into this so-called epidemic, and we've seen nothing. Why would you want to shut a beach down for that? Clarity is what we need, and if legislation delivers that clarity, then that's the right thing to do. Further down the coast on Merseyside, the Metro Mayor sent a letter to the Prime Minister in the middle of May, worried about the impact of easing the lockdown. We still have higher than the national average of deaths. And our this guy, is he, a lot of these people here, like him here, he's either a fit cunt, or he's getting along with it. Of the south and not of the whole country. Because why aren't he seeing the evidence like I've seen? I'm the, I'm the average Joe Bloggs here. Government has gone too fast. Living on a council estate. Is too many measures too quickly. And I'm telling you what I've fucking the evidence, what I've witnessed. measures and the risk of infection. And these people haven't worked it out yet. They're in that they're in no virus. Well, how come I've worked it out? Wrong. The government says the new NHS test and trace service will help keep the virus under control. Local government has a big role to play in this. The scale of this task is really huge. You know, there's, there's two pictures, isn't there? There's two pictures. You've got the news still pushing and spinning that there's a mass epidemic out there. And when you go out your front door and wander about, you've got nothing. They're not going to be on the beach in Blackpool today, but they might be in Bournemouth. The sun is shining. Uh, Vicky Slade, the leader of Bournemouth Christchurch and Paul. There's nothing going on. Vicky, just before I talk to you, have a look at these pictures. You, you know them well from last weekend. Some pretty chaotic scenes down at Durdle Door. Some injuries as well. Uh, you've written to local MPs asking for help over travel restrictions. Do you, What's, do why you did he have to say that? Some injuries. Do you need to enforce a local lockdown there? Why did he have to say that? Yeah, I'll tell you why he had to and say it. As a reason and just a justification of locking down a beach. Oh, the, oh well, there's been a few injuries. Oh, you know, we need to lock it down because a couple of injuries. There's fucking injuries everywhere. And, you know, I think we've probably been proved right. Let's hear about the people who've been using fucking power tools and had an injury, fell off a fucking ladder. But, you know, 
the genie's out of the bottle now, and we, we have like someone who slept with the fucking that. drill. And how will you deal with that? What do you need in order? To oh no, but because you're on a beach, oh, there's injuries. Well, Let's lock down a beach. We don't have the power to close roads. We don't have the powers to to implement um, enforcement around around anything. I mean, the police can't enforce social distancing. That's just a guideline. Um, you know, the local lockdowns are apparently coming. Um, local, she just used it. Plan until the end of they are local. Because, you know, we saw scenes last week that... Um, even Mark my words, people, 100%. You know, we might be able to lock down a, a street... Or They're on this or weird or lo a, uh, local, localised. How do we stop more people coming in? That's your new buzzword. Going out? That's not been cleared up. It's going to be another three weeks before we even have to present our plan to, gov to government. Um, don't stumble, woman. Don't stumble. Keep reading your lines. We've got that to start with. So, you know, we really are sort of the cart is before the horse. You know, they've released everything, but haven't given local authorities the ability um, to, or the infrastructure to make this happen. And just briefly, Vicky, I saw pictures of you walking along the beach in Bournemouth last week, trying to encourage people to social distance, pick up the litter. Well, I wish she'd have fucking approached me. I was down Blackpool the other week. If she was down, no, she's from Bournemouth, isn't she? Tell you something, if she approached me, I'd, I'd fucking give her a right school and tell her to get fucked. Boris Johnson said you can go and meet people, and people have had enough. Go back to sleep and fuck off. What, what you might expect them to do. Um, but councils are in the same position as everybody else. You know, we've still got hundreds of people shielded on our own cohort. We don't have summer staff. Most tourist areas, you take people on at this time of year, and they would normally recruit in the time we're all in lockdown. So... You know, we're always going to be playing catch up. Um, I don't think we can go back. I wish we could. Um, we're now going to just have to work really, really hard and ask people to. This is pissing me off. This is anyway. This fucking coronavirus, COVID nineteen, fucking bullshit. We all know what he stands for, us who are awake. We know what's coming. Nothing to do with the fucking virus. It's to bring about the, all the fucking bullshit what they've been planning for years, like I keep saying. Where's the threshold? Tracking you. You've already seen it. Track and trace. The R goes above one. Where should it be? I think there's lots of cashless debates today from the scientists in regards global lockdown grid. R rate and infection rate, and actually now they're saying enslave the fucking planet. So I think in regards to what Vicky was saying, local lockdown. The councils are not ready for it, they're not equipped for it, and there's no practicality to how it will actually work. And it's another we'll piece of the government. People will be living like guinea pigs in a cage. Or gets them out of a particular problem without, in reality, how it will work. So you know the roads the have been bulldozing up, well they have in my town. That would work, how would they enforce it? Installing the new fucking 5G cables, open reach. So all of these things will need to be considered, but really at the very core of this is testing. Without the testing capacity or the tracing capacity, nothing will work in regards to easing lockdown. You have to have testing up to No you don't. No you don't. Can get a test. And the we don't want it. We don't need it. Shove your fucking track and traced. Shove your testing. Shove your fucking swabbing. But just pick up on the point that Dawn made that there's a bit of PR going on here and is the government just trotting out relaxations in order to keep people happy? No, I, I don't think that's the case. I, I think, as I said earlier, we've started to move towards this next phase of lockdown. And, you know, when it comes down to testing, we were from a standing start. We're now at 200,000 uh, capacity. We are, uh, we've got the testing capacity in place. Actually, the discussions uh, with local authorities... Let's well, see him get one of them big fucking swabbing thing that, tools rammed straight up back of his nose, having it forced it near enough into his fucking and brain. And because that's what I've heard, what they're fucking the doing. Actually, overall, we are below one nationally, but obviously we have to recognise that certain areas will have uh, an R rate that is rising, and that's when, obviously, outbreaks are identified. There will have to be a... Well, was it a, a mate's so last night, and we were talking about this, because we keep up to date with each other, and I went a mate's talking about that. For weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, and the World Health And his girlfriend's fucking dad has, has that going to hospital test for an operation, and they've forced him to have a test. Said he couldn't have his operation if he didn't well, go no, through with the test. Can you believe it? And he said, to, uh, he, he said, he had a little bit of blood from his throat where they tested something, where they stuck something in his throat. 
videos and the pictures coming out of the And he forced it that much up the back of his nasal cavity. He had, he, he had a nosebleed. Uh, accommodate uh, what was a, what is a very... Is that what swabbing's all about? I thought you just swabbed your nostril. Had to make sure that he said they fucking stuck it that far up his nose. His nose was bleeding. By, a, by being able to do that, it, we've been able to start to progress to uh, other uh, settings and now obviously we're at the stage... Now what, do they need to shove it that far for? With the testing in place. To be able is that, is that to too infecting, is it? Right, so you know, the National the Joint Biosecurity Centre will be coordinating that. All right. Thank you, thank you, Dawn, as well. We're going to change subject and uh, move on to something that we've seen a lot of over the last couple of weeks. More protests here yesterday over the death in the United States of George Floyd. And nothing yeah, should be going on here over fucking George Floyd. What the fuck has it got to do with us? Across the country all week. What about all the other black people who've been shot on a weekly basis over there? Has anyone fucking got on the need for that? No one's gone to the street over that. All these lot here are pure fools. Everybody in this country right now is showing what exact fucking morons and guinea pigs they truly are. I can't breathe, I can't breathe with the masks on. It can happen in this day and age. It's been happening every day of every week for fucking whatever years. Black people get murdered on a weekly basis over in America. Like white people do. Do these people look anywhere? Look on YouTube, you can see videos of white people being murdered by police. This afternoon, including one in Bristol, where thousands of people are expected to attend. We've been to the St Paul's area of the city, where racial tensions flared into violence 40 years ago. Something's going on, they're starting a racial war. That's what this is, that's what this is about. All part of this, all full agenda. This, this is your second phase. Dispatching thousands and thousands created and orchestrated by the states. My initial response was, not again. I cannot believe This that woman is a liar. Again. As everybody else, you know, I think anger and disgust. It's her, it's upset, it's exhaustion. You'd be upset and exhausted at every fucking... ...about the horrific, the horrific killing of George Floyd. Horrific? Of the, uh, there's, there's been worse horrific killings than that. How's about having a load of bullies pumped into you? Well, you have George Floyd didn't have that, did he? Well, that's happened. Like, is this going to happen to me, Mum? Is slavery coming back, Mum? Lying yeah, bitch. The fear of our lives not being worth very much, and what, how that manifests itself, whether it's police brutality, whether it's discrimination through jobs. She's a, she's li she's a liar, because I ain't having that. Goes on. Is this going to happen to me, Mum? No the way. The situation in this country is more insidious, because when you see a person being shot and are strangled, you know... Um, There's the names, if you want to track these people to down, see what the backgrounds are. It is a slow burn, whether it be from Covid or just the poor are come from health. So what you need to do, people, do your research so and find out who these people exactly are. What are pushing there. People need to stand up and say no. It's Where have they found them and quickly, you know, you took these recordings from? Like you, um, being brutalised. I think especially during this time period, you know, with coronavirus and seeing that... A lot Even of she's pushing the coronavirus, see? ...black and brown people, um, it, it's reached a point now where I think... Black and brown people? ...can no longer be contained. Um, I didn't know there were black and brown people. I thought it was I just terminology. to mobilise myself. What do you call them? ...to mobilise other people to try and bring about a change. You can't be black and brown. Reflections there from uh, Bristol. Sandra used the word, didn't she? Horrific talking about those images of George Floyd. I think everybody would agree with that. Uh, we'll talk to a campaign for racial equality shortly. What are we then, so fucking the white and UK pink? statistics first. At the last census, black people made up just over 3% of the population. But figures from the Independent Office for Police Conduct... Look at black and brown people. I don't know. ...of those fatally shot by police since 2004, and 8% of, the, of those who've died in police custody were black. I'll tell you something, it's shocking and sickening that seeing people kneeling down. Kneeling down for what? ...and searched last year. 
Yeah. You see that video on the internet of a, a, a guy who stops a, an American woman and she got on her knees, said get on your knees for white privilege. Get on your knees for white privilege, can you believe it? What the fuck is that about? We're going to talk to Roger Lynch. He's the chair. So you're a, you, if you're a white person, they try and force you to think that you're privileged for being white. You're naturally born the colour that you are. Whether you're white, black, pink, fucking whatever you are, you know. How is that privilege? Well, I, I'd say that mass protest... Get on your knee for fucking... Uh, that'll be next on your doorstep, that. The young people see this... Now, as a 8 o'clock every Thursday you'll be coming out on your doorstep kneeling just because you're white privileged um, finance, um, is there to see? that wouldn't surprise me if that comes fucking next the young people over here they're looking at their future they're putting their lives at risk for a cause and if they're socially distanced they wear their masks etc I don't see why they weren't they socially can't. distanced they were there is yeah, I'm not. F I no, none of us need be socially distanced, but he, he's he's fucking shitty shit there. And how can he be social distanced at a rally? A rally mass as big as that? What you saw, all that crowd. Matt Hancock and and his special, health specialists are saying this: we will have a vaccine for this pandemic within the next six months, nine months, or a year. Well, racism. There's no vaccine for racism. It's been here for two hundred years at least and more. And as far as the young people are concerned. Yeah, the, the, yeah, they try and cause divide. And we're not, not, not far, be, far behind the The race war, that's next. Um, I mean, many people watching this... That's what the fucking globalists want not next, not is it? The race war. Life carries on and you, you kind of think that maybe... We're you knew, you knew the signs now, straight away. Saying, we made any I knew, because they're making a big thing out of this, George Floyd. More, more Escalating it as a, it is um, the next big agenda. Back in 2014, the Liberal Democrats had a race equality task force paper which had uh, exam results and financing uh, applications. You won't see the fucking a, uh, when the something get blown up and out of proportion no, 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 next, no, next time a white man gets murdered by a cop, so though, will you? Um, uh, financing. Um, so it's been there for a long time. I mean, we're never ever going to go. This and this, the, what I'm saying here is nothing to do with racism. It's simple facts. Perhaps this might be a turning point. Roderick, thanks so much for your time. I believe when I had the, one of my videos removed it was because they assumed I was being racist. It was nothing to do with racist. It's a simple opinion of simple facts. from Naomi Makin, who organised a rally in North Devon. I was 15, 16, the boys on the group chat said comments like It's a disgusting white I wonder what this here. girl's background is I are disgusting towards me The school wasn't there for me The, the legal te team of policemen that were supposed to be there for me weren't there for me Fake accounts on Instagram sending me All of these banners here should have been news. Why did you lock us down Boris Johnson? Not Black Lives Matter All these people man Let's talk more to Should have been on the streets over the lockdown. Um, you know what? I'd have loved that. I would have been, and I'd have felt felt great if this country had done that. No, everyone locked themselves too. down. How do we and now they're out on mass Black Lives Matter. Can you believe it? How fucking pathetic, gullible, stupid, moronic fucking dickheads are out for this. So until we dismantle the systemic racism that exists in society, we're never really going to make or see the progress that we need to see. And on, progress. You know, on May the 25th, when progress we need to see. Brutally murdered by a locking us down's progress, is it? That it interrupted all of our lives. And now Taking away your freedom and your human rights is progress, is it? We are going to go next. And she's talking about we progress on fucking racism. Then we need to ensure that we tackle all racism is tip of the iceberg to what's really unfolding. Barriers that exist in society, and it means that we have to have the uncomfortable conversation. You never destroy racism. It's going to be uncomfortable, and if you're not, because governments love it, you're not doing something. Right. Governments so love it. Why do you think it carries on? Because uh, governments are all about it. And I think that you know now is the time to make that happen. But that's what this is about right now. Everybody. And that's racial tension. They want a racial start, a racial war, or some kind. Allies on the street. So Black Lives Matter isn't just about black people taking up the cause or the fight. It's about everybody taking up the cause of the fight, so that we can have a better society.
Well, get fucked. In in Don't push your narrative on me, because I'm not going to do it. Do you see any grounds for optimism with the younger generations coming through? It's about everybody putting up the fight. No, it isn't, love. Not if you choose not to, and I won't be a part of this bullshit. Things might get better for, for generations to come, even. Well, I mean, it's generational trauma whenever you see any form of racist acts. So watching the... Oh, yeah, they're pushing it, aren't they? If anybody didn't think that that was inhumane... I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm going to be a racist because I don't want to play a part in it and I don't want to be a part of it because I'm not an idiot like the masses. And the acts of violence I've seen against my brothers. Um, so it is a generational trauma. But what does make me... Um, optimistic is seeing that this struggle and this fight and those people that literally risk their lives to march against oppression and to say that black lives matters what gives me optimism is to know that we're not fighting this alone and that's what I think is maybe the difference between the marches and the fight and the protests now is to maybe the protests that happened 40 years ago or 100 years ago or 200 years ago or 400 years ago is Beam me up, Scotty. Fuck me. Beam me up, Scotty, is it? Innit? happening and what role can we play? God, wouldn't it be nice if you could just catch a train to another world if, you, when you want to just bail out of the bullshit? Yeah. Fuck me. I'd have ordered my first first class ticket on fucking lockdown. You know, we need to speak up, and that's everybody taking that pledge to speak up. Sorry, let's get a thought from Saqib, because obviously... Um, get away from all the fucking you, brain deads. Uh, but also as a member of the government, I mean, when we read those police statistics out, it's so important, isn't it, that, that black people, Asian people, whoever, are not unfairly targeted because of the colour of their skin. Well, absolutely, and I, to be honest, I, I couldn't disagree with much of what uh, Dawn said, like many... I was appalled by the callous murder of George Floyd. And I'm no, he wasn't. No, you weren't. You not give a fuck. And, uh, other police officers who were oh, they come on fucking pulling on your heartstrings like they care and they give a shit. But clearly Truth of the matter is, they don't and give a fuck. And for me, really, it came down to the fact that there's this um, uh, collective... Why didn't he push himself to get on news with every murder, then? Quality ...that people, you know, I'm answer the question that you asked, Dawn, because uh, I believe this is the greatest country in the world to be an ethnic minority. Why didn't, why didn't this guy get on the news for every murder? Every or, uh, fucking uh, black life murder? Because that'll be on a weekly basis. We, we I ain't seen this guy in my entire life. Um, but of course there's always work to be done. And um, right. Dawn's right, there will be uncomfortable conversations that need to be had. But we're not afraid to have them. And we must absolutely get the data in place and make sure that we're fighting racism wherever it happens. Saki, thank you very much indeed. Dawn, thank you to you as well. Um, that's all we've got time for. You can see more reports from our BBC local correspondents across the country on the Politics England page of the website, bbc.co.uk slash Politics England. Thank you to all my guests for today. We're back next week. Stay safe. Thanks for watching. Stay safe is last word, Jerry. Stay safe. Stay safe. Everybody who's on TV now is all part of the bullshit. Job as a 99 year old female. And you've got these type of fucking uh, ads and stuff. Are all about the NHS, ain't it? Do you know what? Come to think of it, all the programmes what we've been having in, in the gear up to this lockdown, all the uh, NHS on the front line and oh you know all these hospital programs come to think of it now you know that that could they could actually have been put on TV all in the gear up to this lockdown to help you support the NHS I wouldn't be in the slightest surprise would you think about it people the implementations before this came around this lockdown and more and more of these hospital programs were popping up weren't they what you can watch late on it, you know, when you when you when you're in in uh, watching telly in there, you know what I'm trying to say. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. That, that, I'm, pro I'm, I'm probably right because they, they put things in place well in advance, and that wouldn't surprise me at all. Anyway, nothing that we just seen there was any fucking worth uh, uh, watching. It was all pushing the bullshit.
so they were great just turn me telly over right and I just want to show you there I'm Luke keeping the family viewing, um, black girl shaking you know, things up uh, on her top I was just assuming it was a really cool this is uh, a <laughs> Sunday brunch they're on to about Toy Story 13 what's you got that on the top for <laughs> Thanks for yeah. Black That's girl shaking true. things up. Propaganda, uh, more propaganda. Why did she have to have that? Black girl. Yeah. Look, uh, look on the top there. <laughs>